Hey friends, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a mini album for the A Cherry on Top design team and I'm going to be using this gorgeous collection from Jen Hadfield. It is the This Is Family collection and you can find it in the A Cherry on Top shop. I will leave all the links down below for you guys. So anything that I'm using today in my video, if it is available, I will leave it linked down below so you guys can check it out. Here are some of my favorite dies. I use these dies the most and I just keep them in this little um, pouch and I I keep it in my desk. I use these the most when creating my mini albums. I love to have different shaped pages. I love to have stitching, uh, the faux stitching from the dies on my pages. And a lot of these I picked up at a cherry on top. Some I've had for a really long time, so I'm not going to be able to link them, but I can try to find something similar like that gold heart there. I'm not sure where that is from, but I'm sure there is something similar in the a cherry on top shop. So I'll leave it linked down below for you. I love to use these dies to create my mini albums. You can also cut shapes from your silhouette cameo if you'd like, but um, I just like to use um, the dies that I have here. Just taking some of these pattern papers and cutting them down so that I could run them through my die cutting machine using papers from the 12 by 12 paper stack and then also the six by eight paper pad. Finding some different patterns that I want to use, some darks and some lights and some, um, fun patterns here. This one has got this um, really pretty foil, so I want to make sure that I use that one as well. Going to run these through my Gemini machine, and this is the first time that I am using it, and I absolutely love it. I had a hand crank die cut machine forever, and um, this Gemini is so nice and so smooth and makes cutting pages like this so easy. Um, the hand crank one, takes time, your hand gets tired. Uh, mine was losing pressure and was not cutting intricate dies for me and just, it was time for a new one. Really happy with the Gemini. So if you have had your eye on this machine, I highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. The pressure on it is great. I keep it stored in my closet. It was easy to bring over to my desk, plug it in and get going cutting all my pages. Um, I will see if there is one in the cherry on top shop. I'll leave it linked down below. Otherwise, I will find another link for you guys and leave it down below. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about this machine. I absolutely love it. It's a little heavier than my big shot, but totally worth it. Um, it is not huge and it could be stored on your desktop as well if you had room um, to keep a die cutting machine. I am a very messy scrapper, so I like to keep... Uh, my machines and tools out of the way so I have more room to spread out. So I'm just going to go through and die cut all of my pages. Um, I have some circles, some banner shapes, some hearts, and then I'll also just cut some white textured cardstock um, into some square shapes. And then once I have all of these cut out, I'm going to run them through my sewing machine, just um, adding some straight stitches through some of the pages. I really like to add the sewing. I love the handmade look that it gives. I love the texture. And then I love like the loose threads and stuff kind of peeking out of the pages. I just really love the look of that. And so I'm going to run them, not all of them, just some of them that do not have the stitching from the die through my sewing machine. And I'll do that really, really quickly. I just um, use some white thread and um, you'll see that here in just a minute. So I'm going to let some music play for a while so you guys can um, just see my process of cutting everything out. I tried to leave as much as I could in this video. Um, so it's a longer video. Um, and if this is something you enjoy, please let me know. Or if you like the short choppy videos, let me know that as well. Um, but I thought for this one, I would leave a lot of my process in so you can see how I create this. It is sped up. Um, otherwise, this video would have been like an hour long, but um, I hope you enjoy. I'll leave some music and I will be back to let you know what I'm doing um, after this stitching in just a minute.
Okay, now that all of the stitching is done, I'm going to get my binder ring out and my hole punch. This is my favorite hole punch. I got it on Amazon for like $2. And whenever I do classes, this is the hole punch that I pass out. I love the size of the hole and it, it makes the pages flip really, really nice. So I'm just going to put them on my ring here. And this is how I like to create my albums. I'll do all the pages. I'll put them on my binder ring. Um, I like to call this like the bones and the, or the base of my album. And then once I have all the pages where I want them, I will start to go through and add some embellishments. Once I have some of the embellishments on the page, I will go back through the album, start to lay down my photos. And um, if I want any photo mats or anything like that, then I will go back through and add some finishing embellishments and then my journaling. And then I'll do a quick flip through and add like little last minute things. And that'll pretty much be it. I've this is the way I like to create it. It makes it easy for me. This is my system. It may not work for everybody, but for me, this is the way that I like to do it. And I like to work on the binder ring. So you will see me um, just kind of flipping through the, the pages, seeing where I want all of them to go. I try not to keep the same shapes next to each other um, and trying to mix up the patterns as well. So I know I want this circle with the black and white stripe to be um, on the cover, um, but I also like to add smaller elements on top of the um, cover. I have this uh, container of, or this pack of tags from the collection, so I know I wanna add a couple of these in there, um, and I also wanna add a little bit of stitching to them just to give them some texture and a little bit of that homemade feel. So I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and add some stitching, pulling out some of the die cuts, and I'll add some stitching to them as well. Um, some of the tags I will use to add some journaling. Some of them I will put photos on and some of them are just in there for decoration. So I'm gonna put these in my book and I added some stitching around this tag here with the envelope. I just stitched around the little envelope there. I just think it's just a little fun element to add to the book. These die cut packs are really nice. There are some acetate pieces and I love adding different textures to the book. So I will make sure that I add some of these acetate um, pieces to the album. There is this cute frame here and this is just gonna be a decoration. There's actually two frames that I put in this album. One of them I will put a photo on and the other one is just there for a decoration. Um, I could also add some journaling to the back of it. Here is another ephemera piece and this is a card that I will use to add some journaling with my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. I love my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. I love it so much. If you love the vintage style typewriter, you can also get it that from your computer as well, but I absolutely love mine. I know it's like 50-50. Some people love it, some people hate it. I absolutely love mine and I use it all the time. So just adding some different elements in here from the ephemera packs. There's some really nice bigger pieces in here and these pieces are great for mini albums. So just adding some um, different shaped pieces in here. There's another acetate. I thought I would um, put these here on the cover, but then I, I end up changing my mind and just putting them in the book. And then I will find this acetate floral piece, which is gorgeous, and I'll end up putting that here on the cover. I love having florals peeking out um, on the pages. It's just so pretty and you just want to look through all the pages and see everything. So I'm gonna add these in my book. And I love these acetate pieces. I'll add a photo to one of them and then the other one, it'll just kind of overlay on top of another photo. And I really like the way that that looks. It gives it some nice texture and some interest. So now I'm gonna go through the pages and start to add some different embellishments this beautiful acetate floral piece here, and then I'll layer another piece of ephemera on top. And I do add some stitching to this just to give it some more texture. I just had my sewing machine sitting right next to me at my feet, so it was easy to pull up onto my desk. So I'm just gonna go through and add some different embellishments. I will leave you with some music while I do this and I will come back when I'm getting ready to add my photos.
So I'm almost finished with the first round of embellishing and I do use some fun foam to pop a lot of these up onto the album. Um, I just like the texture that it gives and I just pick up fun foam and you can get it anywhere. Um, I will try to see if we have some in the Ateri on Top shop so I can leave it linked down below. It has adhesive on one side and it works great for these albums. It doesn't give it too much dimension. It's just the perfect amount and it's um, pretty inexpensive to use. So I just cut it up to the size that I need and add it to the back of a sticker or a piece of ephemera. So now I'm going to get a title here onto my album. I'm gonna use these um, rose gold thickers. They are so pretty. And I'm just gonna put family right here on the cover. And I thought about maybe putting a photo on the cover as well, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Then I'm gonna to start to add some photos. So these photos are some older family photos that we had taken. And a lot of these I've already documented either in a traveler's notebook or on a 12 by 12 layout, but I wanted to get them all into a mini album and I thought that would be really fun. So I printed them all in black and white and they are all about two by two size. And then some of them are, let's see, like uh, maybe like a two by three or three by four. Um, I thought they would fit really well. I photo I have a couple photo apps that I use one of them is a color story and that is what I use to turn them black and white and then I also use the pick frame app to build my collages so I can get four of those two by two on one um, piece of four by six photo paper and then um, the other size that's two by three or three by four I can get two of those on one of the four by six um, so that is what I use to get my photos edited and uh, get the collages made. And I just print them right from my phone to my home printer, which is a Canon PIXMA printer. So just adding in my photos and um, putting some mats on the back of the photos as well. Not all of them, but some of them. And getting them layered up, popping them up with some of this foam, this fun foam. And I already have my embellish most of the embellishments where I want them. Um, so it's really easy just to go in and add your photos. Tucking in a few things here and there. Once I get all of these photos down, I will go back through um, and see if there's any other things that I want to add in there. I also have some journaling that I typed out um, that I will cut into strips and add to a few of the pages as well. Um, I will take some of the journal cards and run them through my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. Um, I love the look of that typewriter font, and I just think it adds um, some fun and interest. You can do your own little word strips um, and add them to your pages as well. These This photo shoot was so fun. One of my high school friends who lives in a different state um, she has done our family photos a few different times and she's so good and I love uh, how she captured all of the kids and just our family. Um, she was really, really fun to work with and it was just so easy and relaxed and the kids had a great time. So these are, I absolutely love these photos so much. They were so little. Here is this heart die cut that I did out of this really pretty foil paper from the 6x8 paper pad. I really don't add anything to this at all um, except a piece of um, journaling that I type out with my typewriter. Um, and you'll see that um, later. I just, I think the paper is so pretty. There's really nothing that needs to be added to that page. So for the die cuts that I have already put here on um, like this coffee mug here with the florals, florals, I just pop it up and I leave it hanging off the edge of the page. Um, and then when I do put my adhesive on under it to get it adhered down, I usually put it um, in the center. That way I can get my photo tucked in there really nice and easy. And I love to have the embellishments hanging off the side like that. Here is one of the frame ephemera pieces. Perfect to add one of my photos just in the center. Love how that looks. And I just um, punched a hole right in the corner of the frame. So I'm just trimming down my photo here. That way it fits on to this page here. And I don't mind if the photo is hanging off the top or off the side. I just love the look of it. I think it even it adds even more interest to the album. So I'm just fussing with this photo, cutting it down just a little bit more, and then I'm going to go on to the next one. I 
I love albums like this. These would make great gifts for somebody or something to keep on your coffee table. Um, I have a basket of them in my office and I love them so much. The kids will come in and look through them. Great way to keep um, photos together, your memories documented. Here are some photos of my daughter and I'm just going to layer them up on the circle page and I think it looks really, really cute. This album came together really quickly. It's so good to just use one collection and um, get these all down. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys. Like I said, um, this collection is perfect for any type of moments that you want to document. There are a variety of um, sayings and images. There's great florals in here. There's some birthday in here, some thank yous, um, lots of family icons and words, um, some adventure, some travel theme. It's really a great, great collection to have. And the colors are gorgeous. Um, there are some great foil um, elements in here as well. So this is my last page. I'm just going to do a little grid style here at the end. Love the sewing on this last page. And I also distress the edges a bit just to give it some texture too. I'm going to do some of these cut aparts and add these to my book as well. Just adding a fun, another, another fun little element to the book. I love some of the sayings on here. Just gonna punch a hole and get them run through the, the binder ring and add it to the book. So I had a couple more photos I'm going to add. And then I'm gonna go through and add some more of these foam, um, these gold stickers, these rolled gold stickers to some of the the photos. I love how this album came out. So much texture, so many different patterns and colors and shapes. I love these puffy stickers. They're just the perfect little embellishment to add to your photos. So if you have any questions for me or anything, just let me know down below. Um, you can leave the comments um, in the comment section if you want. You can also email me, ericarosecreates at outlook.com. I'll leave all my information linked down below for you guys. Um, I would love for you to follow me on um, here on YouTube. If you're new, you can hit that subscribe button and then also the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, I also have Pinterest and then also on my blog. So if you want more inspiration from me, more videos, um, make sure that you follow me there. Also make sure you head on over to the Cherry on Top blog um, for even more inspiration. If you are new to A Cherry on Top, you would also want to um, register on their um, website and check out their member forum on their uh, website as well. So I will have some still shots for you at the end. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my book. Um, I will do um, one final look through and um, then get my photos taken for you guys so you guys can see um, the finished product. You can check out all of the photos on the A Cherry on Top blog, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will catch you guys in my next video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and um, I will be back with more inspiration soon. Bye-bye.